Okay, this is going to be a series of videos, so I don't know where it will end up. This is our NBN modem in Australia. It's a cable modem, basically, made by Aris, and that's a CM2800. CM2800B, in fact. So this one is from um, somebody who had a internet connection issues and NBN came and just replaced their modem. And NBN, as you may know, they just leave the modem at the client saying, have fun, do whatever you want, throw it away, etc. So because the way the NBN rolled out in our country, it's not as money saving as it should be anyway. So, how do we get into this guy? So the main reason I want to do this project is I want to get into UART connections, UART. See if I can find any juicy information. Depending on your provider, provider of the internet service, the port is disabled, LAN port, so you can't really access its web interface. Um, okay. But we do know this company makes backdoors for their products. But I don't know anything about this particular one. So this supports DOCSIS um, version 3.1. Okay. Looks like no screws on any leads. Now this information will be critical for me in the future, so I'll take a photo before it gets destroyed, especially the serial number, and the MAC address, the MAC address we can find out later, no problem. So how does this come out? So the front plate that can change to every country's branding. So nothing broken. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure there's UART there. RG Linux. Cool. All right. Nice heat sink. It's probably a. Oh, there it is. There is also a J tags over here. So we've got four, three J tags visible. We've got a BIOS chip, so we can dump that. Um, okay, let's take it out. Let's see what we got in here. Okay. Okay, pretty much nothing. Or be like, inf no prop, no no information for us. Okay. 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 
so let's have a look what's under here they're using Linux you know they should disclose GPO you know uh, license or information and, and what programs they utilize etc they can't just um, use open source software and not disclose um, okay nice big heatsink beautiful so it's a massive Broadcom BCM 3390 ZKF 6BG yep so you can see there there we go okay all right uh, I don't even know what, what voltage does it need 12 volt, 3 amps, okay, that's fine. Um, so basically, UART has one ground, is that ground? Yeah, okay. So this could be 3.3 volt rail one of these is transmit and the other one is receive and they should have a low resistance if there are data lines let's see Microscope with here we go. No um, switch, there we go. Yep. So resistance to ground, so that's ground. We're not getting anything on that one. We're getting something on that, two point nine eight kilo ohms. And that's the 3.3 maybe. Maybe that could be transmitter receive. This this one has a lower resistance. Now we got this one here too, so I have no idea. Let's check here. Number one. 360. Nothing. Nothing. That's ground. Okay. So I'm sure there is a uh, UART port on this and let's have a look on the microscope so that's the Broadcom chip Yeah, so we got J2501, J2502, and then we got J3301. That's a diode, that will mean 3 volts is there, ground and transmit. Yeah. Yeah, okay.
and those guys there what do they look like these guys here TPS 65276V same same all right let me get a three volt uh, 12 volt see if I can Okay, just 0 0.6, just to see if we are wired it correctly. Yeah, all right, okay. 1.5. Okay. So let's go ahead, put 12 volts into this guy. Okay, he wants more ramps. Okay, we'll give you more ramps, buddy. How much amp you need? Okay. All right, there we go. Nothing. Nothing. Three point three. 3.3 .3 and okay so potentially we have 3 JTAGs but we're not sure so it should be simple and I might do the JTAG connections now as well Put the heatsink back on here. Okay. So, some reason apparently they put some here too. Okay. Yeah, so we can maybe use Raspberry Pi or Arduino. I don't know. We'll use something to get into this. Let's get out. It's everywhere. Okay. We even got a bus pirate that's a quite an old one. Yeah, we might have used this guy. Yeah, here we go. That's it. Yeah. USB to TTL. Yeah, we'll use this guy. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so we'll use something like that. Just sit in there. 
Yeah, well not. Yeah, should be easy. Just run jump of wire and so I'll crack this and play around a little bit. And then I might do a video demonstrating. One, two, color coded so we'll get black we might not need three walls Here's the yellow and the green Yeah, simply ground. We'll figure out which one is the right one later on. And that will be 3.3 .3 and I'm not sure if we need it. And same, just like that. And like that. Easy. And whichever it is, and then I will simply solder it in, we'll have a good connection, we'll have a look at this baby later on. Okay. Okay, so that's it for now for this video, and I'll make uh, consecutive videos as I've got time. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.